Hello everyone. I will be installing uh, LED hood lights on my 2023 Hyundai Tucson. So this is a light. So this has both uh, DRL and turn signals. Let's see. These are the wires. Red one for DRL, black for ground. Two yellow cables for turn signals, left and right. So basically both are of same length so to distinguish i mark them as far and near and i connected posi taps to them so that i can tap it into turn signal wires this is the light it has both dial line turn signals product specification with the functionality of the controller so it has multiple patterns I can have continuous light or a pattern you can also control the length of turn signals with this controller I bought this from Harbor Freight with this for around three dollars it comes with a tool to crimp paint cut wires and a couple of connectors so i'll be using one of this to the ground so that i can connect it to car ground and also i didn't want to tap these turn signals into original wires in the car uh, I don't want them to be damaged so I bought this extenders so so this will actually be connected uh, at turn signals this will and I'll be tapping the wire the turn signal wire on this one so that the original cables or wires will not be damaged or tapped I'll share links for all these products in description. So installed uh, connector, ring connector to the ground which I will be using with this bolt to tie to car body. So I will be tapping dial power to side marker wire and and uh, near turn signal to turn signal on this 
and far turn signal to the other character ground will be connected to car body so using this i check the pins so here the second pin is the turn signal so we'll be tapping the second wire on the top button signal so i'll be doing one for left and one for right turn signal second from top so this wire this is screw it in so that it will tap it into the wire <laughs> yep it's tight so I hope it's tapped properly and the other one tapping it into the other connector this is also same second from the, from the top to the second cable on the top and just screw this in So the tapping is working properly. So we open the bonnet and under the bonnet on both sides we'll see a click like this so this supplies power to DRL and turn signal on this side so what you got to do is press this button and pull it out slowly we got the plug out so it has 8 pins I am using this to check uh, which pin has the turn signal power so it, it comes with a cable to connect to ground with the clip so I will be connecting this clip to the car body somewhere here and holding this I'll just touch each pin you'll see a light you see second pin from the left on top 
has turn signal power so it's flashing so this tells us which pin which wire need to tap into for turn signal power this extender so you just need to connect this to this pin and the other side to the lights same thing on the other side too but this side in addition to touch signal power we also tap the DRL to the other cable so we use same technique to identify which wire has the power for DRL and we tap that here the installation is completed Let's see On the passenger side, one right turn signal wire is connected here to the extension flex, and the entire wire is tucked under so it's not visible openly. And on the driver's side, ground is connected with a screw there. and DRL power and left turn signal power are gonna tapped here to the extension plug that is the control box which we can change mode of lights using that one all the extra cable is winded up and tucked in there so it's all done